Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Josh and Jason Monday Christian and Conspiracy Podcast Show. I am your host, Josh Monday. If you don't know me, I'm a Christian rapper, devoted husband, father, and army veteran. I'd like to introduce you to my co-host. He's a Christian, devoted husband, father, and my brother. What's up, Jason? How's it going, bro? Hey, how's it going out there? Uh, good afternoon. And uh, this is this is uh, this is a big show. Missing some things for my family, but wanted wanted to wanted to meet one of the one of the most influential pastors that i've met in a long that not i've met but uh i'm meeting now and that i've seen on on youtube and and he's he's brought me back to from from learning a lot about about studying the bible a certain way and learning about it a way that you you to the not to the way you interpret it but the way that god's supposed to interpret it to you so it's 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 awesome to have him on and and this is this is this is like meeting babe ruth for me this, this is the last time. <laughs> yes <laughs> All glory to God, but we have a we have an awesome show for you guys. Um, we 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 actually I actually emailed uh this gentleman after listening to his. I mean, I've been, we've been listening to his show obviously for a long time, but I would listen to his Revelation show, and I was just like, you know what? I think he would be amazing on the show. And luckily, you know, by the grace of God, uh, he actually emailed us back, and you know, and we really appreciate it. So, Robert Breaker, how are you, sir? Hello, I'm I'm okay. It's ten o'clock my time, so. It's getting close to bedtime, but I, I wanted to do this with you. I figured, okay, I'll, I'll take time. At least the kids are asleep, so that's good. <laughs> um, if it's better for you, we could do like an early morning one next time where it's like 9 o'clock your time, maybe something like that. We could try to work something like that in. So, yeah. Well, this is the best because kids are asleep. Otherwise, it'd be a little loud. <laughs> it, it's the same thing for me, actually. My kids my kids are actually upstairs, too, so we, we deal with the same thing. So today, guys, we want to kind of do a breakdown like on um, – you know, the one world government, um, we, we want to do a breakdown, maybe like on uh, the Antichrist, uh, Mark of the Beast and like a one world religion. I heard Robert kind of do an awesome and amazing show on this. Um, and you guys need to check out his YouTube at Robert Breaker. You, you guys have to check out his YouTube. You can even just check YouTube and just Google Robert Breaker and and you're going to see his YouTube pop up. And he's got amazing. Um, he knows exactly how to properly divide, uh, you know, revelation, properly divide the word. And it's just, it's amazing, man. And God is so great for, uh, for blessing us with, with, uh, with pastors like this. So what I want to say guys is the new world order portion. I mean, we have like David Rockefeller, for example, he says, uh, we are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis and all the nations will accept the new world order. So we have, you know, Illuminati member, David Rockefeller saying that obviously we saw, there was a crisis that just happened in 2019 and you saw every single nation moving forward. Um, and the ones that didn't move forward, uh, some of, some of their, their, uh, leaders got, you know, they had heart attacks and they also got assassinated. So everybody, everybody that wasn't, you know, going with the, the, the major crisis that was happening. I don't want to say it cause we're on YouTube, but you see what happened. Okay. We also have Adam Weiss up who is, um, he's actually the Bavarian Illuminati, uh, gentleman that started it. He said, it's up to us. No one is coming to help us. If we don't want to make the effort, no one else will. It's time for the twilight of the idols. It's time for a new dawn, a new humanity, a new world order. It's time for the dawn of the gods, plural. Uh, as, you, as you see, he's obviously mocking Jesus there, saying that no one is coming to help us. We know who's coming to help us, okay? This gentleman doesn't, obviously is not uh, reading the Bible and knowing what's going on. He's just totally mocking that. So we had that. George Bush Sr., there's another gentleman that was talking about it, okay? He's sitting there talking in front of Congress, Mr. Mr. George Bush Sr., and, uh, you know, he's part of the Trilateral Commission. Um, he's also the a part of the CFR. Uh, he was a Skull and Bones member. Uh, his grandpa was also Skull and Bones. His son was Skull and Bones, all these secret society stuff, and we got him talking about bringing a new world order during the time of Iraq. So that's all I want to go over with our introduction, and I would like Robert to kind of take over biblically bring this to it to it to a head and we'll, we'll do our best to uh to match it how you doing go ahead wow well hey man <laughs> where to begin i mean the, the first thing is i like to define things i like to define terms so what would be the way, best way to define what is the new world order uh from years they said there's no such thing as a new world order and yet we're hearing people use that term more and more the best way to define it from the bible is the antichrist system because that is the goal of Satan, to bring in a one-world government. So the new world order is the one-world government in which Satan is in control of the whole earth. And if you know your Bible, that's the rapture takes place. That's right after the rapture. It's a seven-year period. 
called the tribulation. It's also called the time of Jacob's trouble. And it's all about Israel. So God's not done with the nation of Israel because when the church leaves, there's an agreement for seven years in which the Antichrist makes an agreement with Israel for seven years. And in the middle, he breaks that. And he goes into the temple and sits down and he says, I am God. Now, there's many scriptures. We can look at these scriptures if you want to. Sure. There's many scriptures that talk about that. And uh, I wasn't prepared for this. I was hoping you guys would do much of the talking. Oh, but, I could uh, I could do your know, Daniel 927 would be something, uh, a spot that, well, that we could say. But... The first thing to bring up would be Isaiah chapter 14. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we're dealing with an entity here that is the opposite of God. It's Satan. And he's the one that's running the world. The Bible calls him the God of this world with the little G, not the big G. That's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The little G is Satan. He's called the God of this world. And so he runs everything down here. And he's what the Bible calls the prince and power of the air. Um, in the old days, the television was in the airwaves. And you used to say, oh, he's the prince of power of the air because he has TV programming. Yes. Kind of interesting how they use that term because they're programming people's minds with television. Yes. But Isaiah chapter 14, look what it says there. We got to figure out, first of all, what is the goal? What is the desire of Satan? And when you look at the Bible, you clearly see that all he wants is to be worshipped as God. So Isaiah chapter 14, I don't know if you can share the screen. That would be cool if you could. Yeah, I guess. Hold on real quick. Uh, let me see, share the screen. Amen. Multiple participants can. Yeah, you should be you able to a, share now. Do you have the King James Bible or do you want me to put it up or how's that oh, work? You can pull it up if you want. Yeah, you can share it. I'll share your screen. Go ahead. All right. Should, should work. I'm looking over yeah. here. Mm. So. I don't know how to, here we go, share screen. Okay. And here we go. Perfect. Uh, yes. Is, awesome. We can see that. See? What oh, yeah, see? we can see it. We say uh, Isaiah 14, 12, uh, starting there all the way to Isaiah 14, 19. And okay. that... you don't see my background on my computer or anything, do you? No. No, no, no. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. So here, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Now, Lucifer, of course, would be the other name for Satan. Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? So what's the, the goal of Satan? To weaken the nations. Ultimately, although they claim to be powerful in one nation uh, under the Antichrist, they're ultimately going to be weakened when Jesus comes back and destroys the Antichrist. Um, but it says, and here you have the five eyes of Satan. It shows you his pride. Yep. For as thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. I, I, I. That's a lot of eyes. That's five. Of pride. That's five yeah. is the number of death. And that's oh. Satan has five letters. And so does devil. Mm. And so it's I, I, I. And there's five. Something about 5G. What's an iPhone? iPhone? Hmm. iPhone oh. 5. Remember when they came out? Now they're like, yeah. what, 13 <laughs> or 15 or 100? I don't know. But look what it says. <laughs> He wants to be like God. So that's all he wants is to be worshipped as God. Yet thou should be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. So we ultimately know where he's going to end up. But the Bible does talk about him having that. Now, we could go to Daniel, but um, yeah. most people Do know the prophecy. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And then also we got to understand it says, I will be like the most high. So he's not saying it would be above the most high or better than the most high. He says, I will be like the most high because nobody could be better than the most high. So also, uh, because also he's a creation. He's a creation. He's yeah. Not, he's not something that he creates. And then we have the most high. So God is at the most high of creation as well. Literally the most high. It says that his throne is above the stars. Right. So I think right. that's interesting. That's a good point. He can never overthrow God. So the best he can do is just try to imitate and be like him. That's an excellent point. Um, Robert, do you think he's also one like these other gods like Zeus and all these other gods that, you know, the little G gods that they had? Do you believe that he kind of switches so, places with like the fallen angels to be those those yeah, gods? When, when he fell, he took some of the angels with him. And those are fallen angels. And uh, I believe the Bible is true in Genesis 6 when it talks about how they made it with the daughters of men. Yes, and they produce giants, and I think that's what the giants were. Was were those Old Testament, uh, or no, not Old Testament? I get that wrong. The old uh, mythological. They call it myth, but there's a lot of truth to it. Hmm. The old Greek mythology. What okay. was it about? About these gods, and and interestingly enough, all they do was go around and fornicate all the time. Well, that's what these fallen angels did. But um, that falls into the Nephilim. That falls into all that kind of stuff, and that 
not a topic for another day. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen on that one. <laughs> Look at this. Second Timothy chapter two. I don't know if you guys can see me or if you can only yeah. see the screen. We well, can I see, see, I see both. I see both. You're basically going to be on the right, Robert. So we can see you talking and all three of us. And then you can see the, the Bible uh, verses on the, the left and big, okay. in big things. So, it's so good. here's the Bible talking about. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. This is second Thessalonians 2, 1. When are we who were saved gathered unto him? Well, we believe in the rapture. Unfortunately, a lot of people today don't. And that's the falling away that we see in these verses because that's been taught for, well, since the time of Paul. Now, some people will lie and say, no, that came about with Darby. Nobody believed in that before Darby. <laughs> Get the book, Dispensations Before Darby. There was a lot of people that believed before Darby. But it says, and and, that, and, I, and I like so Robert, you like to teach it as a as a as a marriage, as a, as a wedding, and right. I I I I, I've been, uh, I study a lot where you teach it as like it's a you don't want to be we're gonna be gone because you don't want to you don't want your wife to be defiled, you don't want your 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 bride to be defiled with it with another evil no man. So no domestic violence from from Jesus. Basically. No 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 yeah yeah we don't want that. So you're gonna you want to have a good. <laughs> You want your your woman to be clean when when she when she comes to you. So exactly. when the church needs exactly. to be clean, so God's not going to give His wife to the Antichrist first. No, no, and no, no. We couldn't take the mark of the beast; otherwise, we'd lose salvation. So there must be a pre-tribulation rapture. And uh, Paul says that here in verse two that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as that the day of Christ is at hand. So the day of Christ be the rapture. Let no mm. man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Two things. Except there be a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. Now, watch the name of the Antichrist. Do you see that comma there? Yeah. Yes. When I when I took journalism class in in high school, a, a comma is pretty much means the same as and. Mm -hmm. So the name of the Antichrist has two names: the man of sin and the son of perdition. Yeah. Why is the Antichrist named two different names? Because in the book of Revelation, if you read chapter thirteen, when he shows up for those first three and a half years peace. in the tribulation he's the yeah. man of sin yeah then he's assassinated and then he comes back in the eyes of people they're like oh wow he resurrected now did he really resurrect was he really dead well i think deadly wound means he died because that's a deadly wound so somehow god allows him to come back to life or maybe it's just the body of that guy but it's the devil in him and who is the devil in him the son of perdition Mm, Who else yeah. in the Bible is the son of perdition? Judas is called the Judas. son of perdition. The yes. Bible tells us, and the, Satan entered into him. Yeah. So you have the seven-year period of the tribulation. The first three and a half years, the Antichrist is the man of sin. The last three and a half years, Satan is literally inside of that man's body. Mm. And he goes into the temple, and he sits down, and he says he is God. And we see that here in verse 4. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. Who is this? Is this the man of sin or is this the son of perdition? Son of perdition. Well, it looks like it's talking about the son of perdition that does yeah. this. So there's a reason he gives him two names. Or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Mm. So this all ties in with Israel. And something's going to happen. I believe they're going to rebuild their temple. And he's going to go in and he's going to sit down in that temple. And he tells us here, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now you know that withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. So we have a revelation of the man of sin, but we also have another revelation. Look at that word revealed later on. And that's a capital W. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of, mouth, of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. That would be the son of perdition. When Satan is literally in the body of a man, ruling toward the end of that seven years, there's the Battle of Armageddon, and Jesus comes back at the Battle of Armageddon and destroys the Antichrist and the false prophet and the beast. So we see a double revelation here, the revelation of the man of sin at the beginning and the revelation of the son of perdition in the middle. Mm. And he uh, talks about this, and this is all tying in with the New World Order. Look what it says here. It talks about that wicked one, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned. Now, that can't be Christians. Christians would have to be gone. Yeah. Yep. yep. Who believe not the truth. Well, Christians believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So the devil's goal is to deceive the world and come in, and he's using signs and wonders. 
and he's deceiving people with all deceivableness. He's bringing in every fake news thing that you can. He's not telling truth. He's lying. Yes. And it's all to damn people to hell with a great lie. Yeah. So what is that lie? Well, that's another debate for another time. I mean, I don't know, but I, I think we've seen one in about 2019 to about 2022. <laughs> There's yeah. been a great lie throughout the whole world that yes. <laughs> um, something happening, and, and that's all part of the plan. Yeah. And, uh, I guess we'll quickly go over to. Uh, and also, uh, I was going to say, too, like, uh, do you believe that the, the Antichrist uh, is, is going to be the, that, the literal seed of Satan from Genesis 3.15, or do you think it's just going to be like a guy and then he gets, and then Satan just uh, inhabits him? Yeah, there's theories on that. We don't know. He's called a beast. Why didn't it say a man? Yeah, uh, man is three parts: body, soul, and spirit. You know, we we are con we are three parts. Yeah, we're made in God's image. Where God is three parts: He's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're three parts: we're a body, soul, and spirit. Yeah, and when we're born, we're born spiritually dead. So we're only two out of three. Two yes. out of three is point six 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 six. Yeah, isn't that wild? So that's the number of the Antichrist is six six six. Mm, but um, when, some people think he's going to be a clone. That's why he's called a beast, because an animal is only a body and a spirit. It doesn't tell us that animals have souls. Maybe a, what, maybe he's a Nephilim, uh, too. What do you think? Maybe they maybe they like they, they get the clone. DNA of it. Yeah. Get clone the DNA the of a Nephilim, maybe. I don't know. People say that uh, Hitler, his face looked exactly like the face of, of Napoleon. Mm. And then he looked just like the face of uh, Alexander. And oh, a lot wow. of these famous people had the same facial figure. So you got to wonder, you know, uh, yeah. is there something to that? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. But whoever yeah. he is, he's the man of sin. So he's going to be the most sinful man that ever lived. And uh, I have my thought on the thing. <laughs> I know a certain man who was a president who's married to a man. Uh, <laughs> he was very <laughs> sinful. Flies land on him. He lets it put it He's so sinful. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. So when we look at this, we, that's a good question. Or could it just be some guy? Some people now are thinking it could be the King, the King Charles. Of... Yeah. Yeah. We, we had a uh, Tim Cohen on uh, Robert. I don't know if you'd refer to him, but he's got a whole book on that man. It, uh, Antichrist cup of tea. And it's, well, his, 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 his coronation or whatever it's called is what? 666 days away from his mom's death. Exactly. Like the, the exact, yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. That's, that's weird. Kind of, yeah, that He's very 73 weird. when he took office or whatever you want to call that. Yeah. Um, his mother was 70 years as the queen. Yeah. And you look at all these things and it's kind of weird. He's the seventh king since 1066. Yeah. With William the Conqueror, William the Bastard. So, you know, remember, that sounds interesting. The seventh king. I remember reading that somewhere. And then there's three more, the 10 kings. But let's look at this real quick. Yep. And oh, by the way, since we're on Charles, look at all he's done. He, he made a seven year agreement at one time. Yeah, and he's very big at the United States. He's the Nations. king of Jerusalem right now too. That know that he's the yeah. king, you know, which is interesting. He, he brought in the Agenda Twenty One, and he brought and he's yeah. part of behind being Agenda Thirty. He says we need one person in charge with trillions of dollars to help bring in a one world government and things like this. So definitely, he's a player in the end times, and uh, it's very very interesting to see that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, so this we have to read the whole chapter of Revelation chapter thirteen to see this. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And upon his horns, ten crowns, upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was likened to a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Now look at that. Did you see the statue they put up? Was it last year or at this the UN? year? UN. At now the we're UN. At the UN. United Nations. Yes, the United Nations was used used to be the League of Nations, yep. and it went like belly up. Nobody wanted it. Now all of a sudden, after World War One uh, and Two, there's the United Nations. Why would they put a statue of a beast that looks like it is a leopard with the feet of a bear and the mouth of a lion? It's exactly like this. Mocking is the devil like mocking and saying, "Ha ha! Guess who I am?" Well, <laughs> where would where would you find the devil? He'd be wherever the power is because he wants the power. So he would be the one pushing the United Nations to take over and to get rid of the sovereignty of nations in order to bring in his one world kingdom. And so it says, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. The dragon, of course, is Satan. And I saw one of his heads that were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wandered after the beast. So here is a, a deadly wound. It sounds like he's killed. 
And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power to the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, who is like to the beast, who is able to make war with him? So he becomes very powerful. And, with the uh, army. and Yeah. The good... Yeah. The army's behind him. Yeah. And it was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. How important the King James Bible is, because new versions change things. And you look at new versions, they don't say continue. Mm. If he continues, then he must have been going for a time. Oh, yeah. Now he continues. So he must have been three and a half years, which is 42 months, as the man of sin. Now he continues for the last 42 months or three and a half years or 1,260 days as the son of perdition. That's a whole seven year period, just like yeah. back in Daniel. He makes Every, an agreement for yeah, seven years. Yeah, because people say that, oh, where, where's the seven years at? They keep saying that in the body. Yeah, like we've had somebody on that's been the opposite of the way we believe. And I, you know, I just let him go. But um, I like the, that you put that right there because that really that, that really puts a stamp on it, man, to continue. It makes sense. Yeah. talked about in the midst of the week, and it's a week of years. Yeah, back I love Daniel. that. I love that. So man. Daniel and Revelation go hand in hand. You've got to read those together. And so he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name in his tabernacle. All right, there's the temple on earth in Jerusalem. And them that dwell in heaven. Guess who that would be? To me, that's us that went up at the rapture. He's still talking yes, about, about those those deplorables. It's all their fault. <laughs> you know, what would they call it? Those, those awful conservatives ruined everything. And we've been going for like three and a half years. But and it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Now, who is that? That can't be us. So the there are 144,000, maybe there's church age saints and there's tribulation saints, just as there's Old Testament saints. Yes, so sir. these saints he overcomes. Right. Jesus said the um, gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Yeah. And yet here they're overcome. So the church must have left. I mean, must be a pre-tribulation rapture. I love and that verse. And that verse also backs up a pre-tribulation rapture that the gates yeah, of hell will not prevail against the church. Yeah, I love that. Amen. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. There's your new world order. The yeah. devil has power over all kindreds and tongues and nations, United Nations. And right now, I mean, honestly, guys, it's happening right now. You know, there's it's happening. It's easily you could easily see that. But go ahead. I'm sorry. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Now, now think about this. Who are they worshiping? They're worshiping worshiping a man, but they're also worshiping the dragon. They're worshiping yes. Satan. Mm -hmm. So the whole world becomes Satanists in that yeah. time. Yeah. And what do Satanists say? Do as thou wilt as the whole of the law. Go fornicate, go kill, go steal, yeah. go murder, go rape. And they don't you feel bad about it. And you can see it on the on 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 award shows that are going on these days. You can yeah. see they're just they're just it's it's getting right. sickening to watch. Openly actually. in your face what they're doing. Yep. And so those people whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Yeah. Here's the patience and faith of the saints. What do you do with all these guys that say, there's no preacher of uh, <laughs> Many they, of them say this. This is what they say. I'm going to be here. And I'm going to fight the Antichrist. And I'm going to fight the new world order. And I'm going to, and you're going to die. That's what it says. <laughs> it says you'll be overcome. So you better be praying for a preacher of rapture. Otherwise, there's no... <laughs> There's no winning against him on your own. Only yeah. Jesus defeats him at the Battle of Armageddon. So that's interesting. And so the saints, again, this would be the tribulation saints. And uh, verse thir uh, 11, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spake as a dragon. Well, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So this sounds like the man of sin being assassinated in the middle of the tribulation now and come back to life rem and again, remember i think satan's inside of him as the son of perdition go ahead remember when uh goliath uh got killed you know he 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 had to cut his head off you know and he, and he was a nephilim so i think he got a deadly wound if he is a nephilim they should have cut his head off instead of just giving him a deadly wound you know because because no, rafa rafa im like rafa means heal so maybe they were able to heal themselves i don't know this is just speculation, and that's yeah. probably why he had to cut the head off of, of, of Goliath. What it sounds like in the book of Zechariah, I believe it is, it says his right eye is, and his right arm is with her. Yeah. And so whoever attacks him, it says with the sword, it's somehow they affect his eye and they affect his arm. Mm. And all throughout history, we see people that were types of the Antichrist. There's actually 18 types of Antichrist in the Bible. That's six plus six plus six. That's 
can't be coincidence. Jeez. But a lot of those people, they had problems with their right eye and they had problems with their right hand. Like Hitler, he was a great type of the Antichrist and his right hand shook and he had to, you always see him like this, holding his hand. Mm. Hitler. So, um, so you've got all this stuff. And so he comes, he's healed. And he doeth great wonders so that he make it fire to come down from heaven in the sight of men. And that, you know, Elijah. when you when you watch these Hollywood movies, it's like they've read this already. I don't like those movies, but I, I don't watch movies. I discern movies. Let's put yep, it that way. Yeah. I try not to watch them. And, and if I do, <laughs> all right, what is the programming here? What yep. are they trying to brainwash people into watching? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it was, I don't even remember. There's so many of the Marvel movies, but wasn't it one of the Captain America movies? where someone got a satellite or something and they had the power to be able to like fire oh, down yeah, yeah fire from yeah and they had all this list of names of people that they wanted to kill all at the same time that's what that sounds like to me when i read this verse yeah and it says and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live so there's your sword mm. so there's miracles and an image, the, well, the Bible says you're not supposed to make any graven images. And yet here we see an image in verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Huh? So they should be killed. And um, he causes all wow. those small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So the Antichrist is a bully. He's like, you do what I say or I'm going to kill you. Sounds yeah. like a horrible person. Yeah, and Sounds like people, Nebuchadnezzar, you know? Yep, sounds just like Nebuchadnezzar back in the don't day. Bow, just, if you don't bow down to this image, then you're going to get burned burn. in the fire. Yeah. Oh, and his image, what was it? It was 60 cubits yeah. by 6 by 6. Yeah. yeah. And here is the wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for his number of a man. And his number is 603 score and six. So 666. So we see a lot of 666s. Six, six, What's the most notable 666 six, six that we have seen lately? It's called Patent 060606. Have you guys oh, looked into that is, by Bill Yeah, Hayes? for sure, yes. 100%. But and go it's ahead. Called, I had it here somewhere in my notes that I'm preparing for when I go preach in Indiana. Mm. But it, it's called um, the actual title of that patent, if I can find it in time. Let's see here. Okay. Is. Oh, I actually got it right here. The Luciferi's uh, tattoo or something. It's yep. uh, something about cryptocurrency oh. in in body. Uh, I thought here it is. Okay, so here it is. This is actually I have it. I printed it up earlier. This is patent zero six zero six zero six. Cryptocurrency system using body activity data. That's what it's about. Mm. So this Microsoft Corporation put out this patent 060606 about using the activity of your body as a cryptocurrency system. Now, I don't know what that sounds like to you, but that sounds sick to me. Because sounds like a social credit do, score. Yeah. The more you do in your body, the more money you get. Yeah. So now you're a whore to the Antichrist. I mean, that's wow. like, hey, if you do what we tell you and you go do it, we'll put money in your account. Yep. And. And so now you have to do what you're told. If that's not a slave, I don't know what it is. For sure. And this whole thing is about, and it's in the diagram here. This whole thing is about, it's got a picture of a human being, the cryptocurrency system, communication network, and then the, the person, which has a sensor and a user device. That's why the 6G stuff is coming too. You know, they're, they're looking that's to like do transhumanism that. though, too. That's like you're bringing into you know, chipping yourself or maybe even bringing your conscience, downloading it onto a actual computer. Like that's, 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 that's insane. Like, wireless. Remember the social yeah. distancing, stay six feet apart. Yeah. Yes. So if somehow they could get something in you, let's say a nanobot or something that can turn you into a, a 5G or a 6G tower. Well, if yeah. you're closer than six feet, oh, I can't quite distinguish who's who, but when you're yeah. six feet apart, I know who that guy is. I know who that guy is because I got a chip in him. Yeah. And they make chips super small nowadays. They're not little RFIDs the size of a piece of gra grain of rice. They're nanotechnology. Yeah. And graphene yeah. oxide and things like that. So when you start journal. looking into this, that 0606, that's creepy. And it sounds like what the devil wants because he's a snake, right? He's a he's a serpent. 
what did the serpent want? When he showed up to Eve, what did he say? Open your mouth. <laughs> he wanted to put something inside of her. Yeah. And we know it was the fruit, whatever that is. Today, what do you think the devil wants? He wants to put something inside of people. Mm. Because when it talks about the mark of the beast there, it says in the right hand. Look at that. Yeah. In their right hand or in their foreheads. New versions of the Bible say on. Yeah. Now, the devil wants to get it in you. Yeah. He wants something inside of you so he can spy on you. God is omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent. The devil is not. He's not all powerful yet. He's not all knowing yet. And he's not everywhere at once. But imagine if he could get a chip inside of every person and know where everyone was at yeah. any given second. Yeah, he true. would then be the most powerful thing in the earth. Wow. And Never he would be imitating that. God. So when you start looking at this, what is the goal of the New World Order? Well, first of all, Agenda 21 and Agenda 30, the United Nations wants to get the population down. They feel like there's too many people in the world. Yep. And that goes back to the book of Revelation as well. I'll stop sharing here for a little bit, uh, but you go back to the book of Revelation. It, it talks about, is it two thirds of the population of the earth? Yeah. Dies at yep. time? So we see a depopulation agenda and we see the Antichrist. Well, he hates people, so he wants them to die. So he's going to try to. And what does the Bible say about people that take the mark of the beast? They get a noisome and grievous sore. And noisome doesn't mean noisy. You look up noisome. It means uh, stinky. <laughs> mm. whatever wow. the devil puts in the body in the mark of the beast causes you to stink wow and it's a huge like blisterous sore no thank you that sounds kind of like some sort of cancer or something doesn't it okay. and uh, could it be 5g and wireless causes cancer i'm just asking i'm not saying it is i'm just <laughs> saying could that yeah. be that part of it and they have today what they have called a quantum digital tattoo and the quantum digital tattoo can go on a person and it's made of synthesized synthetic ink from a firefly. And they call that ink Lucifer race ink. Hmm. <laughs> that sounds like Lucifer race, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. For and sure. The ink that's inside of a firefly is called Luciferan ink. Well, what is the devil? He's called Beelzebub, the Lord of Flies. Yeah. Wow. And if they get that digital tattoo, to your naked eye, you can't see who's got it. You have to have a device that shows or a certain light that shows. You've seen a lot of these blue, blue lights in cities now. Yes. Get yes. this uh, fluorescent type liquid in you, uh, then you could see it. And they have a device called a light bearer. <laughs> That's what Lucifer means, light bearer. Yeah. And you look through that light bearer and it'll show you a quantum digital tattoo with Lucifer. And wow. So. Yeah, the devil doesn't like it when I talk about that. My light. No, -huh. <laughs> it, it, looked, it, it actually turned the same color right now too. It was like it was like straight purple. I was like, whoa, <laughs> dude, that's that, yeah, that's that's so interesting. Yeah, we we we've been looking into that too. I saw all those all those videos at that time with all those purple lights. Uh, they were saying that that was just a, it was a mistake. We didn't mean to do that. That's a. And um, I was going to ask too, man, about the Antichrist. What nationality do you think the, the Antichrist would be for him to be accepted by all tribes, all nations, and all people, you know? He's probably going to have to be all different ones for everyone to accept him. So the thing I think is, in the Bible, we have those types of the Antichrist. He's an Assyrian in the Bible, and it sounds like he might be an Assyrian Jew. So he might be part Assyrian and part Jew, but he might be part of Japheth, too. You've got the three different races coming from the three sons of, of uh, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Mm -hmm. And uh, Japheth is the white man. Um, Ham is the burnt. Ham means burnt. So Africans. And then you've got uh, Asiatics, Orientals would be of Shem. Mm -hmm. And to this day, if you're anti-Jewish, they call you anti-Semitic. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Anti-Shem. Mm -hmm. Shem is what it comes from. So he would probably have to be of all those in order to be accepted. Now, we know Prince Charles is not. So mm -hmm. who in the world is someone who wants to be the head of the United Nations who can claim that he is all three? Um, Obama? A guy <laughs> whose name sounds like what Jesus said. Remember, I believe it's Luke 11, is it? Somewhere back there where he says, I saw, I saw Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And Barack Hussein Obama means lightning fall. Um, Blessed Christ and from heaven. Obama. Obama means from out of the high. 
So wow. I don't know. I'm not saying Obama's the Antichrist, but uh, how could so many people worship this fella? Yeah. And he was called the goat, the greatest of all time. Well, Baphomet is a goat. <laughs> and so I could see how people could worship one man yeah. and be so deceived into doing so. But, he, you know, whoever the Antichrist is, I think he's probably going to be someone that everyone can identify with. So he'll probably be all that. And uh, the people in the world will worship him and think he's so great. And yet he's he's scum. He's a bully. He's a devil. And he doesn't care about them. You know, he doesn't want what's best for them. He just wants them to worship him and give him power. And he would have to be charming for everybody to accept him too, right? Like, like really like yeah. a good salesman, probably like probably one of the best salesmen. Well, that some we people say, what around. if it's Trump? Well, half the world hates Trump, half the world loves him. But if the yeah. truth comes out like people want it to, maybe they would love Trump after all, because they'll see. But I, I just don't see Trump as, I know, Trump is a type of Cyrus in the Bible. Yeah. And how he could be the Antichrist. I mean, it's possible. That's, you know. Yeah, somebody used by God just to get something done. And Cyrus was. No, he's a wicked sinner like all men. Yep. God did use him uh, to bring in what happened to Israel. So uh, September 23rd, 2017, it looked like in heaven was the sign of Revelation 12. And everyone's, oh, no, no, no. Well, the Bible says signs are for the Jews, um, according to 1 Corinthians 1. Yes. And so you look up there and you go, wow, God's going to do something for the Jews if that's a sign. And what happened? Trump on December 6, 2017, declared that the capital of Israel is really Jerusalem. Yeah. And then the next year, 2018, on May 14th, the United States Embassy was moved to Jerusalem. You can't tell me that wasn't foreordained by the lord i mean i'm not was there a blood moon was there a blood moon around that there time some blood moons and things like that as well so um he's like cyrus cyrus gave a command in the old testament for them to go back to israel and yep. so he, he's god can use the kings of the earth and things like that so i think god used him for that now will he come back again well wouldn't that be neat if he was president again and in the rapture, that would be the last Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would yeah. be the last term. That would, that would be just too fitting, wouldn't it? Yeah. But uh, I don't put my faith in the man. Um, no, no, I don't either. Bro. Brought in the warp speed and, and other yep. things. Yeah. And if he's Thank true, you. he said he was, you know, um, I don't know. I just, I don't see us putting faith in men. We're not supposed to put our faith in men. Amen. No, sir. No, Amen. Sir. Yeah. Any And also, as, as you probably know, like anybody that's uh, in that position of power, they've been chosen for the spot. They're not, it's not like they make it. You can't be, you can't be a guy like Bob from, you know, Mississippi State Junior College and make it as, as, as the president. You know what I mean? You need yeah. to be chosen. You need to be part not, of that. Not nowadays because yeah. of all the secret societies. Like you were saying, there's the secret society <laughs> and, um, uh, my dad used to say you had to basically sell your soul to the devil to get in a position up like that. Pretty and much, yeah. Look at Hollywood, you look at the music industry, you look at all these things. They become celebrities by making a deal with Satan. They yeah. literally sell their soul to the devil. I've met them, and they've said, I signed a contract in blood with Satan. And uh, you watch on YouTube people like Katy Perry, and uh, they just nonchalantly, and that's when I sold my soul to Satan, you know, and things like that. And you're just like, so, yes, he is the little G God of this world. And he's behind the scenes doing all this. And it's also he can be profited and he doesn't care. And usually he asks for something in return, your soul. And you guys ever heard of, I think it's called the 33 Club or something like that. Yeah, Club yep. 33. How many, yeah. Yep. How many famous people or was that? There's a club where so many famous people all died at the same age. Oh, that's uh, seven. It's the 27 Club. 20, okay. That can't be accident. It yeah. has to be the devil coming to collect on on the fame that he gave them is the way I look at it. So what we saw with the whole COVID thing, to me, was the dry run yeah. of let's see if people will accept this. Let's let's see if they'll accept staying in their homes. And uh, isn't that what um, they did in Israel before the Exodus? They 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 had the Passover and they stayed in their homes. Yeah, I found that interesting. Yeah. Um, but uh, the devil is working, and he's working hard, and he uses the secret societies. The Skull and Bones, you mentioned, the CFR, the Council of Foreign Relations, the Bilderbergers, that's a good one. We got Commission years. Committee of 300. We got the World Economic Forum. Uh, Club of Rome. Yeah, Club of Rome, uh, International Monetary Fund, IMF. Uh, we got, well, the Vatican, obviously. We got the City of London with the London Banking, uh, Washington, D.C., 
seems like it's the military branch of this uh you know of this uh new world order the city of london seems like it's the banking the vatican city seems like it's the religious power we got the jesuits uh the freemasons obviously mm -hmm. we already know about uh we also have the uh council of 13 which is like these you know high level black nobility families council of 33 is another one the invisible 33 uh Gee. there's a Council this goes on and on, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just like trying to just let you guys know, man, so you guys can study these things, you know, on a side, a side note, you know, study this just to, just to, you know, just to see what the devil's doing, you know. I mean, we want you to st focus on the Bible, obviously, but it's kind of good to, uh, to understand, you know, what the devil's doing and and what's behind the scenes in some ways, you know, but and how he works, and he exactly. always works in secret. He doesn't like the light to be out in the open, so he wants to be in the dark. So that's your secret societies like the Skull and Bones that you mentioned, yeah. like uh, Jason Society. There's all these different societies. Yeah. Fritz Springmeier wrote a good book, Bloodlines of the Illuminati. Yes, very and, good. Uh, that's a real good. It's hard to find nowadays. But you mentioned the Illuminati. It's real. Adam Weishaupt, and you all know the story about that, how they found yeah, out about it, and um, how he was struck. A, a messenger was struck by lightning that had one of their um, little telegrams or, or notes or something. And many of the nations were like, wow, this is trying to take over. I think it was uh, Washington and was it Jefferson or one of the others? They used to write letters back and forth about how much they hated the Illuminati. And those are, and they didn't like the Jesuits either. They're actually writing a letters that saying that we don't want the Jesuits to come and, and they're, but they were more Freemason, you know, like, uh, you know, I think when, what it was is the Jesuits kind of separated from the Freemasons. So they came over here, they started, you know, a democracy. And, and uh, a lot of it was, you know, freedom of religion was not like so that Christians and Protestants could just become great Protestants. It was more so that the Freemasons and the, the people that were it's, doing, you know, satanic. You could, <laughs> you could subvert, you could subvert a country that way when you, when you yeah. make, make laws like that. Now, have you looked at the anti-Mason party in the 1820s in America? No, I haven't. Okay. I haven't looked into it, but I've heard of it. Um, a lot of the founding fathers were Masons, but they um, were Masons. They got out of it. And okay. they anti-Mason. Um, George Washington, I believe, was a saved man. He he talked about how he trusted the blood of Jesus. But wow. they will today say, but he was a Mason. No, he got out. And uh, I can't remember the man's name, but there was a man who was killed that was a Mason. And it came out that the Masons probably did that. And uh, because of that, many people started to get what they called the anti-Mason party. And you can mm. look that up. And yeah, you can I'll look find it up. Man's name now. The rest of that story is so amazing to me because I went down to Honduras and, and found out. Man, look that up if you can. Look up anti Mason parties, find the name of the guy that that what that, that they said was drowned. Okay, they said they never found his body. Well, guess what? In Honduras, there's a missionary down there, and there's some other men down there, and uh, they come from the family of that man. What they did is they put him on a boat to Roatan, and he lived down there. And wow. uh, a, a wife and kids and everything, and he could never come back or he would be killed. Wow. So they actually let him live. And um, my friend who was down there, who's uh, that's like his great 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 grandfather or something, said that the story is he used to sleep with this huge box under his bed, which he kept all the secrets on those people. Oh, wow. And then at the end of his life, he said, It's time to let bygones be bygones. And he burned it all in the fire. Wow. But I wish you could go back in time and just grab that box and go yeah. through it. Yeah. I have, like, I have like one of the best podcasts, <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> podcasts. Did yeah. you find the name of that guy? I mean, that's, um, oh, wow. but look into the Anna Mason party because a lot of people say our founding fathers were Mason. Well, I know Benjamin Franklin was till the day he died and he was yeah. probably a Satanist um, that found dead bodies in the basement of his house. You know, what oh, was yeah. he? Yeah. But uh, I know Abraham, I mean, um, George Washington, though, he got out of it. And he wrote against it. He said, don't be a Mason. So it's it's hard to tell. A lot of our history has been rewritten. And the people that are bad guys are now good guys. And the people that were good yeah. guys are bad guys. I hear a lot of stuff about Abraham Lincoln, too. Like, they're here, like he was he was like a tyrant and stuff like that. And, and Abraham Lincoln was not a saved man. I don't believe the chick tracks talking about him. And he would go into bars, people that knew him, and said, just make fun of God and the Bible all the time. Wow. And he was probably one of the most racist men. All you have to do is take a few minutes and Google was Abraham Lincoln racist and go and read his own words where he would bring into the White House uh, all these free black men. And he his his quote, his famous quote in his speech to them was, our race suffers from your presence, he said. Jeez. <laughs> what well, a racist. Terrible, man. Yeah. And you look at this guy, he, he was a dictator. He was a tyrant. 
and he did away with writ of habeas corpus to this day. Do you know what habeas corpus is? I'm not. Uh, I'm familiar with it. I don't remember though. Go ahead. The only uh, the most basic thing of a free society. No one can come to your house and arrest you and come in your house and put you in jail. That that's that's tyranny. You have to have a writ of habeas corpus. They come to your house. They leave a note. Have uh, your search body one. habeas corpus. Have body. Have wow. your body in court on such and such a day. And so you would go to court and, and find out what the problem was. Then you would defend yourself in court. But guess what? If you were guilty of sin and they found out and they brought a writ of habeas corpus, you could go to Mexico <laughs> and we yeah. would be far better off as a country not having you here if you were the bad guy, <laughs> right? And so that's how that works. Well, so what happens if the guy didn't go to court on the day that the habeas corpus said? Then there was a arrest warrant for not showing up in court. But no one could come into your private domicile. No one could come into your house. A, a written piece of paper said you have to appear on such and such a day at such and such a time if someone was against you. How come we don't have that nowadays? We don't. SWAT teams can just come in and kill you yeah. a little baby like what happened a while back yeah. and do bad things. We're, we're not a free country anymore, and it's so sad. And part Very of that is so. Lincoln's fault. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, and, and a lot of uh, mistakes happen when they do that too. I mean, they, 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 you're right. They kill Women, they kill children, innocent people. You know, I was in the military, so, you know, I, I'm so glad I never had to kick indoors. Uh, I was feeling helicopters, and, and I was 40 miles away from war. But, man, thank God. And I was praying to God I didn't have to kill anybody, you know. I don't think that we should take lives. At, even in war, I don't think we should we should take lives. So so but. we look at all the presidents, and we, we want to make them our heroes, like JFK. Oh, JFK, what a great president. How did his parents make their money? Bootlegging. Yeah, yep. so they were lawless. They were against the law at the time, which was prohibition, and they got in power. Um, the Bush and, family, and I don't know how much of this people know, but they they had offshore oil, offshore oil rigs. Yep. And I went and got some tires one time in Louisiana, and was talking to the guy, and he said he worked on those rigs, and he said it was Arbusto oil, that's Bush in Spanish, and he said uh, his job was to go out and clean up those rigs, and guess what he found in a huge freezer drugs yeah and so i'm not going to say that the bush family are drug dealers i don't say that but you, you mentioned jfk <laughs> yeah. too you got if you guys look yeah. at what what college he went to he went to harvard and he, and he was part of a secret society called the speed club which is just like the skull and bones so yeah. you might think that he's clean squeaky clean he talked about secret societies but well, he what was it is, assassinated is that he, here's he, uh real, real quick uh, lincoln was assassinated these guys were come on man these guys are yeah, they were dealing with because some yeah, they, they mafia. The goal. All right. So Adam Weishaupt had the goals. And then there was another famous guy named Albert Pike. You know yep. about Albert Pike? Yes, I do. Yeah. Albert yeah. Pike wrote books about 33 degree Mason. Five yeah. wars. Now we've gone through what, two or three already. And it was all the goal was to bring about a one world government in which they got rid of Jews and Christians. And that's the goal of it all. And Albert Pike was oh, so evil. Mm -hmm. And where was they going with that? Oh, so if they didn't go along with their goals, then what would they do? They would try to get rid of them. Um, JFK, to his credit, was against the military industrial credit uh, complex. complex. Yep. And he wanted freedom and he wanted us out of debt. And he was going to um, print one coin that was the entire debt in order to get us out of debt and get rid of this central bank system that we have. Mm -hmm. And so, and then suddenly he was getting us back on the gold standard and then suddenly he's assassinated. So I think these guys want to do right sometimes. And when they kick against the plan, then they're assassinated. What was the good thing that Lincoln tried to do? Something about the greenbacks. Remember yeah, that? bring back greenbacks. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. worth a greenback. Well, he tried to get a standard so everyone would have a standard currency. Nope, that's too easy. No, we don't want people to prosper. No, yeah. let's get rid of them and things like that. So when you start looking into this, it's all the old saying is follow the money trail. Yeah. You know, like uh, what we've gone through in the last couple of years, who's the guy that got the richest from all this? The guy yeah. that had stock in the company of the you know what. Hmm. Yeah. And he's the well, one on TV telling everybody to take it. It's hmm. it's insane because it's crazy because if you look at the where the how the money moved during that whole thing, it was like I think it started out at like forty dollars a share and it went all the way up to four hundred and forty each one of those uh JABs, you know. So 
People were yeah. basically those those all they had to do was just put money into Black uh BlackRock or or into Vanguard, and then they were the ones that were investing the money. So it wasn't like didn't look dirty. So you see a lot of politicians and all the people that were like pushing mandates, they actually made money off of that, you know, like tons yes, of money. Yeah. So and meanwhile, it just, you're locked in your house and told you can't go to work. Yeah, you know? exactly. I know, bro. Your business has it's to be shut upside down. down clown world, man. I'm telling you now, that's why you know that Satan is just running stuff, dude. Cause it's and like, that drives us into the new world order and the, the G R E A T R E S E T yes. to yep. do that on purpose. So they can start their own cryptocurrency and they want that. They don't want us to get back on a gold standard. A lot of people don't think about money and what money is. Money is a tangible, valuable thing that holds its worth. And in the Bible, the person that's called rich, the first person in the Bible to be called rich, I believe it's Genesis 13. It says Abraham was rich in gold and silver and cattle. So true riches is gold and silver and cattle. And what's amazing to me, and if you have all three of those, you, you got everything. You can buy whatever you want with gold and silver and cattle will give you clothes, give you milk, give you a, a, a living. Food, yeah. But, uh, gold and you and can silver, trade it. You can barter it too. Gold and silver in your hand. You absorb things through your fingers. And when you've got real gold and real silver in your fingers, there's antiseptic properties of those. And it's good for you to hold those and rub those. It comes into your body. You, there's colloidal silver. It's good for you. Mm. There's actually colloidal good gold. Good for arthritis, silver. right? That's why they have the, uh, the things yeah. around the... Yeah. So when they took away from us gold and silver, no wonder people are getting sick all the time. Oh, <laughs> I never even sick. thought of that, bro. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep right there. See, yeah. hey, you know what, Robert? You're the you're the most you're the perfect guy for the conspiracy show because you could break the Bible down and then you could come and crush it on the conspiracy side, bro. We love this. This is awesome. Yeah. yeah. And, and you showed me the anti Mason party. I haven't even looked at that. I'm, I'm always I'm always passionate on these guys. The <laughs> party. That's a really cool thing, and it didn't last long because they tried to make it, you know not true but many people saw how evil the masons were yes and many people today that are masons though they'll say we're not like that well most masons i've ever met only went to like the fourth or fifth degree they don't yeah. reveal until the 30th or 33rd degree what they really believe and what they believe is the light bearer the great architect is lucifer yes so they're luciferian and so they're helping bring about the new world order and the worship of satan whether they know it or not so is, is they think they, they because they believe it's because his name his name is lucifer which is the name he's be, he's given before he fell and then they believe that that's they're, they're actually worshiping something good yeah they think it's good but they know that they're doing evil i mean a yeah. lot of masons use their so they say is there no justice for a widow's son and they have all these little secret handshakes and so behind the scenes they help each other out whether yeah. that means break the law or not yeah. so they're on to themselves and they but they, man, they just need the Lord. They don't yeah. need following Thanks. a false religion. Albert Pike wrote the book about Freemasonry. Albert Mackey wrote another book. Yeah. But Albert Pike said Freemasonry is the oldest religion. It is the worship of Lucifer. Yeah. So he knows. And I've read stories of Albert Pike after the Civil War. He went out in the woods with a bunch of women and just walked around naked and, and had had sex all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. orgies. Pure Satanist. And yet, go to go to Washington D.C. and look at the National Masonic Temple, and it's what I think it's called the Pike Albert yeah. Pike. Yeah, oh, and wow, it's uh, it's like it's I think it's called the Council of Thirty Three. That's that's what it is. And underneath it is they actually have a um they have like an a tabernacle with three you know they have the Bible on it, they have the Quran, they have you know so that way they can have you know the one world religion. They also have the 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 Torah. And the Talmud and all four of those are on like a, a tabernacle in there. And they're they're trying to, you know, they're trying to mix all that together. And and, and if you see the Washington Monument, we're talking about the sixes and stuff, you know, it's like, what is it, six thousand six hundred and sixty-six inches tall and it's six hundred and sixty-six inches wide. Okay, six hundred and six it, well, it's five hundred and fifty-five feet tall, the Washington Monument, but it yeah. goes on eleven feet underground. So yeah. what is that? Six hundred and sixty-six feet tall. Yeah, yeah. The St. Louis one time, and there's a train inside the St. Louis Arch, and you ride it up to the top, and the tour guide says, it's "Sitting at a six hundred and sixty-six feet high," and I'm like, <laughs> "They don't hide it, do they?" No. And so the Bible is know. actually the Bible is actually in the bottom of where that eleven feet is. There's a Bible there, which would be like in the testicles of this phallus, the Washington Monument. So. Yeah. 
Dude, it's that's and then you see the Capitol. Also, we're talking about George Washington. He's on he's he's in the Capitol and he, and he looks like he's on a throne and there's 22 stars and you see him like he, he's ascended to godhood. That's kind of what they're trying to say. You know, that's that's what all they the do. Freemasons are trying to do. Become yeah. like God, trying to yep. become a be God. As God. That's exactly right. That's what they teach. Be as God. Mormonism, same thing. Yeah, you can become a God. So talk about the new world religion. Where is that place that they're building where they're calling it the Abrahamic um, place? Where they have three is, that, different... is it, is that in uh, Dubai? Is it, I thought it was Saudi Arabia. Or oh, something. Saudi Arabia. Sorry. Saudi Arabia, not Dubai. Saudi what is Arabia. That called? The Abraham a family or something. That so Abraham a covenant. Abraham. A, yep. a Catholic church and a Jewish temple, all yep. three. And so the new world religion would be uniting all the religions. And who would be the man behind that the most? The Pope. Yeah. The check your not, check your beliefs at the door. Exactly. <laughs> the Pope does not um have uh, he does not represent me. Nope. I don't believe that Roman Catholics are Christians. I don't believe nope, that. Me neither. They got the, the Roman Christian culture all someone, messed up. Someone who's born again through faith in the blood of Jesus. What is their blood? It's wine in a cup. And we could get into mystery religion, mystery Babylon, you know, which is the mother of harlots, but we won't get into that. But the Pope is very into one world uh, religion and one world government because for centuries, popes ruled over all these different nations. So I think the kings, devil. Is, kings had to uh, call popes and ask them permission to do things, you know, and, and, uh, you know, I think that you were talking about mystery Babylon. You said they talked about 10 Kings. You you could think of the 10 Kings also as like the 10 papal bloodlines. I know that they're not ruling yet, you know, like, but they, they're ruling behind the scenes, like a shadow government, you know, uh, like the Orsini family, the Borgia family, all these different families of, you know, rich families. So it's, it gets really interesting, man. When you, when you, when you study all this stuff, you know? Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This Pope, yeah, he's, he was a Jesuit and that's not supposed to be according to their own rules. You can't have a Jesuit um, yeah. as a Pope. And then there's a black Pope and a white Pope. Supposedly yep. some people said that he was the black Pope. So now the black Pope is the white Pope. Yep. Um, and then and you've got that awful weird um prophecy of saint malachi have you ever heard of that yes 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 i have uh, the 14 or 1500s or something 1300s there was this so-called priest called malachi and he said he saw a vision of the next 150 popes and the last one is the antichrist and you look at his vision and you count them it's like it's perfect <laughs> i guess the devil can do prophecy too but that <laughs> means this pope is the is well i don't think he's the antichrist i think he'll be more like the false prophet but even in Catholicism, you need to believe that you're this Pope is not used of God if you're a true Catholic. They say so, there's a great Pope too, uh, Robert. A great Pope would be the Orsini, uh, Pepe Orsini. I don't know if you ever studied that, but it actually you know, even gets he's supposed to be above the Black Pope and the White Pope, and that's like more of like a papal bloodline, uh, top Black nobility wow. of of Rome. Wow, there's movies that Hollywood makes that, that make no sense unless you're in that. Mm -hmm. And there was some movie years ago with that Heath Ledger, and it was something about a sin eater. And in that movie, they go down to visit the Black Pope, and they want an answer to a question. And the only way they could get their question answered is if they killed somebody. And as the person's, <laughs> person's dying, the demon would answer them. Wow, dude. The movie in Hollywood. I can't believe I saw it. I was flipping through the channels in a hotel one time traveling, and I just looked at that and said, click turn it off you know but isn't it <laughs> sound like something that they would do there's so much witchcraft there's so much evil there's so much wickedness in the vatican and you just gotta you gotta wonder if they don't do that kind of stuff i bet it's full of demons i really believe that it's yeah. not a God. down they say downstairs there's um there's rooms that have uh jupiter zeus uh all these different gods you know it, you know i mean so I mean, we already know what's up. I mean, we don't need to get bashed on them too much. You know, we'll have a whole episode where, on it. Satan's seat is. That's where I, I feel like that's where Satan's seat is. Is, is, yep. in, is in they Rome. They pretend to be Jews when they're not. You know, and uh, they, they, and they wear they wear the they wear the yarmulke just like the Jew does. They yep. they 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 it's this they accepted their check like they said check your religion at the door it's, it, check your beliefs at the door check it all at the door and, and just everyone believe in one. In one different name to God, I feel like they they mess up the nomenclature when they actually believe yeah. in Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I feel like they messed that up, yeah. and and I, I do believe that that they that they change the names and 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 into something that they they 
that fits their criteria of a man-made religion because yep. Jesus Christ is not a religious man. He, he he does not like religion. He's probably the most unreligious person that you've ever ever met in your life. So, yep. It's not religion. It's salvation, and there's a difference. Yep. And religious people, what do they do? They believe that they do a system of works, then they might be accepted of God. And God doesn't accept their works. So religion is pointless. Salvation is when you give up trusting yourself and trust in Jesus. Then you're saved. Religion doesn't save you. That's what's so sad and people don't see. Yeah. But the devil wants people tricked into thinking that they can earn their way to heaven. Yeah. And when you're a true Christian, you realize nothing I can do can get me into heaven. That's why I need forgiveness through the blood of Jesus. I need him to be my savior because I can't save myself. Everything then, is filthy rags. That's a, that's a great deception. Exactly. To make you think that you can do what you can do to get to heaven. That's what the it's Freemasons are all about works. too, man. They're about the same thing, and so are the Jehovah's Witnesses. Sort of and... Byproduct of your faith, <laughs> I feel like. In yeah, if if you want if you want to walk in in and walk in the in the Word and, and stay in the light, it's it's your your works will be a byproduct of your faith. What you stand and people will see how you are in the world and, and be like, man, I want to, I want that. I want to see, I want that light that that guy has. I want to see how how that. Then you spread the gospel to them. And you know, you spread the gospel, first Corinthians 15 verses one through four, which is amazing, amazing actual there's another study you could go on yourself, but that's an amazing verse in the Bible, man. I love that verse in the Bible. So awesome. So that's the gospel, first Corinthians 15, one through four. It's how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and then he rose again the third day according to scripture. How did Jesus die? shed his blood without the shedding of blood there's no remission of sin so you've got to trust the blood to get to heaven romans 3 25 through faith in his blood and that's what's so sad is all these religions they'll talk about a blood but it's not the blood so juice what are they trusting in animal sacrifice they're still trying to build the temple to do that again yeah uh, catholics what do they do they're trusting in the cup and their cup is not blood it's wine yeah. Uh, Satanists, what do they do? They believe in blood sacrifice of human beings. I mean, yeah. A lot of times they sacrifice animals. It, that's not the blood of Jesus. Only the blood of Jesus can save us. And it's just so sad. Uh, even Did you know, guys, even Muslims do animal sacrifices sometimes? Mm, I didn't. It's just crazy. But it's not the, the blood of animals or bulls or goats, but of the blood of Jesus, the Bible says. Amen. Amen. For sure. sure. Yeah. We love this. Well, Robert, we appreciate you did it. You gave us an hour of your time, and you know I know it's late over there. Um, I I think we I think it was an amazing show. Did you did you have Heck anything yeah. else you wanted to go over? I don't know. I mean, the last thing is is just what do we see now within the last year or so? Yeah, let's that do that. Proves they're bringing in the new world order. So I want to hear from you guys. Me, I mean, every day I I turn on the news and it's just like wow, it's getting closer. They're turning over sovereignty to the who, right? Yeah, and. I think that's all Operation Lockstep. I think that's the next pandemic, which is the plan to bring in. And uh, I just, everything we see happening, uh, they want the, what is it called? CBDC? Is that what it is that they're talking about? Wanting to bring in a digital um, cryptocurrency? Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. All the way so, back to that right I, there. 060606, you know? When I, well, they, when have I, the, they, have, they have China and Russia and Saudi Arabia, and Mexico. They they all bought onto their their Brinks. form of currency. Yeah, they're the trying to that blockchain coming through. They're trying to get in. They're trying to get America. They, they've already with dog coin, crypt uh, uh, with uh, Bitcoin, all that stuff. They that stuff is not even. That's it's worthless. It doesn't. It's it's, it's worth nothing. It yeah. could, it could be gone in an instant. They can one wrong click and it's gone. Well, all money's all gone. Think about this, Robert. So here's a crazy thing. They, uh, you said it was like a mock setup, right? To see who, like what they have to do to have you take the mark, you know, basically what do I do? Take away a football game and they have the name addresses and phone numbers and who owns what weapons of, of everybody that, that complied. Right. So you saw that, um, that what, what do they have to take away to make people give in that they, they, they saw exactly what they would take away to make this branch of people give in this branch of people get in. Um, everybody has like a digital footprint on, uh, social media where they can tell you what you like, what you don't like. And there's quantum computers that are reading everything about you. So Jason, for example, or me or Robert, you know that if, if you go on the internet and you like something, you comment, they know whether you're a conservative yeah. Republican Democrat, they know who took the, 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 uh, the J A B who didn't, 
Uh, they also wanted to lock us all down so that we couldn't form any type of militia in case we wanted to get a little crazy and maybe die by the sword. It was a little hard because they had everybody locked in their houses and the churches folded just like, uh, you know, like we should have never folded whatsoever, but we folded uh, people on the radio like 107.9 is what we have. You know, they're actually talking to people like, hey, you guys stay in your houses. Don't go down. Don't go anywhere. Uh, so we saw everything happen and we saw who is the true uh, believers and who's not. Um, there's a Bible verse that I think we should have all kind of paid attention to. It's Psalms 91, 7 through 12. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 by the right side, but it not shall come in uh, nigh thee. Only thine eyes shall behold and see the reward of thy wicked because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in thy own ways. They all shall bear up thee in their hands, and thou uh, feet against thy stone. So like 10,000 could die to the right, 10,000 to the left, but in my house, you know, we'll serve the Lord. We have refuge. You know, we don't, we didn't, a lot of people didn't have faith. They weren't walking by faith, you know? So I think the church. It was, well, the church, it says, it says what, the 10 plagues, it took 10 plagues. For Pharaoh to, to bow his knee, we mm. bowed to one. We we felt a one little thing. A lot of people, I didn't. I I I fought tooth and nail. There there was rumors of this, rumors of that at, at places of jobs around here, and losing your yeah. job if you didn't take it or or that ever. Thank God, I, thank you. We were Jesus two weeks Christ away, that, Robert. Yeah, we were, from that we were both. Me and my brother were both. Man, we both work in the same industry, the water industry, and. We were two weeks away. Both of our jobs are saying you're two weeks away. If you guys don't take it in the next two weeks, you guys are gone. And you know, we, just, obviously just, we we stood strong. So <laughs> God yeah, is great. strong. They just said, oh, well, we just God, God came in and, and just said, ah, you know, let's let's stop this. You know, this is not. I mean, I said I believe. I believe that was that was uh, from God because I was, I had faith. We walked by faith. Yeah, but, it, was, it was that. But, is that are you going to buy sell? That's the type of thing it could be. Like you know, they 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 see who's going to bow. Who who will take this? this this thing that we have this this wonderful answer that we have you know that we have for you this wonderful cure or whatever it is and you know what you won't be able to go out and buy stuff if you can't take it you won't be that's that that's a form of the be the mark that's a that's a, that's a that's a that could be a precursor so that's teaching you i think it was hey, a precursor yeah that's it's like the old roman days give them the games let's let's confuse them with these games and then, then, then watch these the 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 coliseum and have the fights the gladiators you, you just brainwash them and, and keep them, keep them watching, keep them busy with the games, and you can do your little magic tricks behind the scene. But right now, it's the games 2025 are over, man. too. Hey, they just had another like event 201 where they're talking about coming out with another, uh, having another event in 2025 where it's going to be uh, called something different. But that's going to be coming again, man. And that is from, uh, that is from, uh, you know, Bill Gates and his whole everybody. So. If you guys look at what happened in 2019, they actually all got together. John Hopkins University, Bill Gates, uh, the media, uh, the governments, the WEF, all these different people got together and they had a mock uh, virus come, you know, and it was it was Corona. So that happened. And then all of a sudden all this stuff happened. So you see the New World Order put all their chess pieces out and they started moving forward. So I think like a, one agenda at a time, they want to slowly take the weapons away. I believe that they're probably not going to come like full, full, full force until they have all of the weapons that are up, you know, that you could go up against the United States military with. I think that they're going to take those soon. And once that happens, you know, and, and they're they putting up how social, social media blew up like that. They, everything went around. You could, you could, every, anything that was out and everyone's at home. And then when like Instagram, Facebook, you start seeing these things like you're like you're going down a rabbit hole like every week on something you're like man this is crazy I didn't know this was going on pedophilia is going on and oh and, and, and Epstein's and Island you, all yes, that stuff Epstein but... Island's going on and then you're like wow you, all this stuff comes out you're like you're sitting at home and you start digging you're like wow man this guy's a, this guy's a <laughs> child molester this guy this, this is going on I cannot believe this is going on in, in our country and they, they, it's 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 like they put it out there and show you. But who's really doing something about it? Who's nothing's getting done? It's 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 horrible to watch these these new. I don't know what they call it when the award shows come on and you get to see like they're like you know they they're feminizing men and you're like wow man this is really really changed 
I could be able to just watch cartoons and stuff like that back in the day. And, and now you see them and like, wow, they're they're actually pushing, you know, transgenderism and, and stuff like that. You're like, what is going on? This is which is like the worship of Baphomet, you know. They're that's that's pretty much yeah, what it is. Or, it's it's yep. some but still it's something that you're you're teaching young kids that you're sexualizing yep. a young age person. Awful. So it's a awful. Lot of people are waking up. And so how are they going to go forward when many people are waking up and are like, no, the only thing I see is the rapture takes out the majority of the opposition yeah. who's left behind, not enough people to, uh, to fight against it. So I think the rapture is God taking us out, but I think it also strengthens the devil because now he's got, you know, how's he going to go? Well, he just go to the house of the empty people and take all their guns and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. But, the devil wants to harm us the most. How's the worst way he can harm you? And uh, you know what he did, but I think he wants people in the tribulation to be harmed too. So I think he kind of wants people to have guns. So they go around and kill each other. So yeah. can save him the trouble. Yeah. And so it's just um, as Paul says, let's look at that real quick. This is what Paul says is going to be like in the last days. And I tell you, the more I read this, the more I see it. For sure. Uh, Let's see. How do I share this here? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can still share. It's still open. Man, this is a powerful episode, man. I really, really love this episode, and I appreciate it. Robert, seriously, especially coming to our podcast. We got like 2,000 listeners or something on our show, maybe, you know, 1,500, 1,800, and you come down here. We appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Wow. Amen. Yeah, big time. So, Thank you. Look what it says, 2 Timothy 3, 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So it's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse. And it is. And we're seeing it getting worse over the last two years. For sure. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. This one right here, I always, I always see this one. What's that say? Traitors. Traitors. When you don't close the border and you let people invade, you got to wonder what you are. Uh, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure <laughs> more than lovers of God. There we go. There's your um, Bud Light spokesperson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Having a form oh, yeah. of godliness, but denying the power from thereof from such turn away. What do we do? We turn away from such people. We don't do it. We don't. I mean, non-compliance is our only answer, according to the Bible. For this sort of they which creep into houses and leads captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lust. And I guess that they are led into the libraries for all these, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Trans, things. Yeah. yeah. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Isn't that something? Have you ever tried to watch CNBC and CNN and all? How come they don't wow. see what we see? I love that right there, bro. Now as Janice and Jambres <laughs> withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt our minds. Reprobate. I mean, it's like they're resisting what's right in their face. They don't even see it. But look at what it says. But they should proceed no farther, for their folly shall be manifest in all men, as theirs also was. So whatever they're doing, more and more people are waking up and seeing it. And they're like, wow, what is this? <laughs> and people so, are waking no, up. You know, that's one thing that that, that uh, you know, 2019 on did do. It shook a lot of people up. And I, I think a lot of brought a lot of people to the Lord, you know, which which is awesome. But yea, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. They're going to keep suffering. I mean, uh, making us suffer. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. I wish I could say it would get better, but I don't see that. Do you? No. no. People that are deceived right now. are going to continue to be deceived, and they're going to deceive others. But those of us who see through it, we see through it, and we just can't. We can't be a part of it. Yeah. It's just so sad to see the and way you can the never unsee it. Once you are committed to the Lord, you cannot unsee it anymore and you right. cannot enjoy movies anymore like you used to. You're just watching it just like you said, man, to yeah, see what they're trying to it. deceive you with. And that's it. Like I can't my wife's like, why don't we watch them? Why don't we do this? It's all I do is like I start breaking the movie down to her and showing her that it, this is why they came out with it. This is what it's doing. And she's like, I can't enjoy the movie. But that's just right. how it is, man. It's like once you're walking with God. Not just believing in God, but you're walking, you become a walking with Jesus and walking with God. It's a whole different story, man. And I'm not saying we're perfect or anything, but it's just God is like, he's great, man. He just, it's mm -hmm. awesome. You know, it's, it's, it's beautiful thing. And it makes and, you just look up looking for his blessed hope, uh, looking, for hope looking for his glorious appearing.
because what else is there? There's no hope in this world. <laughs> There's not, not at all. I agree. It's not getting better. It's only going to get worse. And then we didn't even talk about war. And what if there was an attack on our soil? What if something, you know, it's just, wow. What if Marfugal is right? <laughs> and yeah. they're to, to do something. Um, I think about that every day. It's like, it's like the movie Red Dawn. I feel like is going to happen at any moment. I'll wake up and, you know, because California is, is 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 a coastal is a coastal state, and it, it just bothers me that just you know how J- how our Jason borders up, are being overran. My brother brought up a good point to me, you know, because I'm 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 prior military, so I was I'm about you know us keeping our weapons. And Jason was like, "Well, look what they're trying to do, man! All the all the uh, all the states that are on the outside are all uh, they're all blue states, and they're all trying to take all the weapons, and that's where we'd be protecting, you know." If someone did invade, so I thought that was pretty interesting that you thought about that, Ro. Well, that well the... like what, so you what, guys what, are in they... occupied territory. Um, I've yeah. met people that moved here to Florida from California, and I said, "Are you guys refugees?" They're like, "Yeah, literally," because communism has taken over that country. I mean, that state. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you really are in occupied territory. You need to get in a safer place if you can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 believe me, I'm saving my money up right now. As as as, as long as. But as long as the good Lord are, keeps me for a little bit and it keeps us uh, right from crashing. someone to take over. I mean, if you were China, you'd be like, let's go take over California. Yes, they're already, already taken over right it. now. Well, <laughs> with the borders that are coming with, with us letting the borders be like this, how do you know they're not doing that? They're not flooding our country with, with people that are from because it's not like when you go to you go to Africa or you go to China or you go, there's just Chinese there. You're the very minority, but when you come here. It's uh, it's white, black, Mexican, Chinese, uh, 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 Rocky. Salem. That's in the yes. Bible, and that's on purpose because united we stand, divided we fall. And uh, the the Bible says God set up the bounds of the habitations so that they would seek after God. So if He can just mix different cultures that have different gods, then then the ones that worship the true God will be, um, you know, weakened. Yeah. So like watering down the wine. Yeah. We don't need people with false doctrine coming here and changing. But no. uh, we're seeing happening, and it's the devil behind it. It's, it's the United Nations behind it, really. Yeah. Because the United Nations, that's their agenda. Get rid of all nation states, no borders. And so you won't be able to say, I'm an American. You'll say, I'm a global citizen. Yes, that's As it. As opposed to what? The Martian? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's so strange to think about. Yeah. I'm an earthling. Let's go brag about <laughs> being an earthling. Well, I'm not an earthling. I, my father's in heaven and I'm an ambassador. So I, my citizenship is in heaven, the Bible says. Believe it or not, I, I'm just passing through. Yeah. And so I wish I could get diplomatic immunity because I'm from heaven. That's my citizenship, the Bible says. New Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. But, Amen. 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 I'm just a passerby. So, so Robert, <laughs> we, we, we would like to have you on a uh Matt, would you be would you be down with doing like a round table with a couple other gentlemen that are that are all on the same page? It sounds good. We'll just have to figure out when. Right now I got a lot coming up, so maybe in a couple months we could do that. But okay. I think this was very edifying, and that's what it's about, trying to be edifying. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Bro, we appreciate you coming. Like I said, we really do appreciate you. And and it's all glory to God, obviously, for to to hook us up. And um and 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 I honestly, I, I watch your, your show. I'm learning a lot from you. Um, I watch a lot of different pastors. I don't just watch your show, but I watch your show specifically in, in certain ways. And I just, I really, really uh, love how you divide the word and you and you divide um, end times. And, and the way you explain everything to us is, is amazing. And God has definitely blessed you. And we appreciate you uh, coming and blessing us, our, our channel with, you know, coming on and, and giving us your knowledge and, and, and your forefront. And my brother, honestly, my brother was like, he was so happy to that I actually got a hold of you because you know I was trying to hit you up so many times with the emails and I and I was just, I'm sorry if I'm like pushy I just push I I have to email you a lot because I know you probably have a lot of in, in incoming uh, uh, traffic you know I would think so I try to email you a few different times and like I said I appreciate you coming on you know seriously well hey man you're welcome I'm glad I was here and I'm glad I got to share all that with you. That so, was a l- great information. I yeah, will. Uh, the, one, the one thing that needs to be said though is how do we fight the new world order? Yeah, not, let's not go. physically, spiritually, because every soul we win to Jesus is one less person the Antichrist gets to rule over. 
So for me, that's the way to fight the new world order is with the spiritual battle of giving the gospel and getting people saved. Amen. Yes, sir. Getting, Amen. getting people Amen. saved. Also put it on the full armor of God. Uh, uh, you know, the, the spiritual weapons that we have, you know, is going to be the word of God. And it's also going to be our faith to for the defense. Also, it's going to be prayer is going to be offensive. So we got the double-edged sword. Uh, you got to put the full armor of God every day on. Uh, like like Paul says, man, we're fighting against uh, principalities of evil, spiritual host of wickedness. So we got to understand that it's a spiritual battle in everything that we all do. And when it comes down to it getting closer to the end and, and the birth pains are getting getting uh, bigger, you know, that, that we don't have to worry about the AR-15s getting taken. We need to worry about the Bible getting taken. So you got to make sure that you yeah. memorize scripture. You're ready to fight against the devil spiritually, which means you need to memorize scripture. Because what did Jesus do when he got taken up on that mountain? He wasn't sitting there with the, He didn't pull his sword out and kill the devil. No, what did he do? He used the word of God and the devil fleed. And that's what James says. If you use the word of God and you resist the devil, he will flee. And flee means that he will run. So we got to make sure that we, we're ready for that. We can't be weak. You know, we need to know that we're, we need to make sure that we have the, the Bible. We need to read it. We have it now. And there's going to be a point where they take it away from us, you know, and uh, I think that could happen. I'm not saying hundred percent, but it could happen just like in China and all these other countries, they got to fight to get one piece of paper of the Bible. They fight and get one, one sheet. They're like, Oh my gosh, I get to read this. And we're over here every single day, man. You guys are just hustling, bustling, never even reading the Bible. This man. is what we're here for. We're here to bring you to the word of God. And I'm going to tell you guys something. If you visit Robert Breaker's channel, what are you going to get? You're going to get the word of God the whole time. You're going to get the word of God and you need to get amazing scriptures. So please, he's doing this for free. He's just coming on. Check out his channel, please. And subscribe to his channel, you know, and, and if he shares this on his uh, thing, then, then also come and check out ours and, and subscribe. And, and, and we're, all we're going to do is try to bring you the word of God and we're going to show you conspiracies and show you how it relates to the Bible, you know, and have gentlemen like Robert on, but go ahead, Robert, before we, before we end, any last words for our audience? Yeah. So Robert Breaker channel, breakers, B-R-E-A-K-E-R. -E and then my website is thecloudchurch.org. So you can go there and check me out, find out more. But every week I try to bring a new sermon in English and Spanish. Well, every week that I'm not traveling, I'll be gone next week to Indiana of all places, but uh, keep us in prayer and uh, keep studying the word. Amen. Keep studying King James Bible, amen. Yeah, get amen. a King James Bible for sure. And let me let, let's go ahead and end this in prayer like we always do. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you so much for a clear connection. Thank you for letting us all sit down and, and worship you, Lord, and 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 try to uh expose the evil, like it says in Ephesians. That's what we're trying to do. Expose the evil, shine the light on these roaches, uh, that are and let them all scatter. You know, we appreciate you bringing Brother Breaker on the show. Uh, and we just want to pray for his ministry, pray for his safe travels as he uh, goes to Indiana or anywhere he travels. We want to pray that you give a legion of angels around him and surrounding his family to keep them safe while he's gone. Um, we appreciate, Lord, everything you do for us from the food that we eat to the water we drink to the to the word of God that we get to actually read. We know that all scriptures breathed by you. So we appreciate you giving us the scripture at, to be able to read and to um, to learn and we, we really appreciate you, God, for everything you do. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right. Amen. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate you guys listening. If you guys Thank could you. share the podcast. Jason, do you have any last words? I'm sorry. No, God bless everybody that is involved in this. And thank you for show, showing us, Robert Baker, again, that you are you are a, a, a man of a man of God and a man of a great expositional studies. And, and I feel like that when you tackle the word like that expositionally, that you get more, you get way more out of it. And it's, it's better for yourself and you're a self teacher. And, and, and that's, and that's, that's what we want to do. So appreciate your brother breaker and Josh, thank you so much for this too. Thank you for contacting him and thank you God for all this. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hey, God is great all the time. Guys, please share the podcast and subscribe and, you know, leave a comment and everything you can. Okay. Thank you guys so much. And if you have any questions, leave comments below and I could send it to Robert. If he has time, he'll answer it for you guys. All right. God bless you. And thank you.